Before I get into the summary, I did want to specify that a float is uh, essentially a number that uses a decimal point. So you have an integer and some fractional value after the decimal point, before and after. Um, so that's called a float in computer science. Summary. In most circumstances, programmers can use limited types like int and double without consequence. Imagine you're managing the number of messages in an email inbox, the number of friends in a social network, the airspeed of a plane, or the probability of an election result. No problem. But you won't be able to use even an int 64 to represent the estimated number of stars in the universe. Int and double are good examples of abstraction because they allow program programmers to work with numbers without understanding how they're represented inside the computer. But the abstraction isn't perfect. A computer scientist might call it a leaky abstraction because the internal details can leak out in some circumstances. If you do run into these limitations, your code will fail to work and it might even crash. Testing your code is one way to uncover these kinds of problems, but testing is important for verifying all your code. When you write a function, you should also write tests using defined inputs to ensure that your function is producing the expected outcomes. All good app developers use the results from the testing to revise and refine their algorithms or programs.